Building Yongshu Reef A large artificial island can be built on Yongshu Reef, which is approximately 25.5 kilometers long from north to south and 6.9 kilometers wide from east to west, with a total area of approximately 104 square kilometers. Among them, the land area is about 62 square kilometers, the lake area is about 6.5 square kilometers, and the harbor area is about 35.5 square kilometers. 1. Yongshu Reef Artificial Island Construction Plan Yongshu Reef, see the bottom right, is an atoll in the middle of the Nansha Islands. It is spindle-shaped. The reef is about 26 kilometers long, 7.4 kilometers wide and covers an area of 108 square kilometers. It is the, the first choice for building islands in Nansha to build large-scale projects. The first artificial island built in the Nansha Islands can be selected from Yongshu Reef. The main reef of Yongshu Reef, southern protruding part, is approximately 4.3 kilometers long, 1.2 kilometers wide, and covers an area of approximately 4.8 square kilometers. At high tide, the reef is not below 0.5 meters of water surface, and at low tide, only a few reefs are exposed. The shape of the lagoon is not obvious, with an area of approximately 33.86 square kilometers and a water depth of June 14, 40 meters. Although the reef of Yongshu Reef is large, the development of the atolls is uneven, and the water depth of the atolls varies greatly. Some atolls have a water depth of less than 1 meter, while most are 5 to 10 meters. A section of atoll about 5 kilometers long and 0.9 to 1.9 kilometers wide on the west side of the lagoon, and a section of atoll about 8 kilometers long and 0.2 to 0.6 kilometers wide on the east side of the lagoon, both have a depth of about 10 meters. The slope of the outer edge of the reef changes sharply, and the depth suddenly increases to below 100 meters. The area that can be used for enclosure is about 104 square kilometers. The Yongshu Reef Lagoon is connected to the sea from east to west, and the South China Sea Typhoon formed in the Western Pacific Ocean, moving from southeast to northwest. In order to build a large sheltered harbor, the eastern atoll needs to be fully filled with land and a flood embankment 11 meters above the sea surface, 8 meters above the ground, constructed. The entrance and exit of the lagoon are located in the middle of the western atoll, with a water depth of about 10 meters. A section of the atoll, approximately 1.0 kilometers long, is left unfilled and dredged. As the entrance and exit of the lagoon, this entrance and exit is located up on the back of the typhoon's course, protected from the impact of typhoon waves and ensuring a stable sea surface within the lagoon. Analyze the satellite photos of Yongshu Reef and draw distribution maps of different water depth areas of Yongshu Reef. The blue area in the picture is a lagoon, with an area of approximately 36.86 square kilometers and a water depth of June 14, 40 meters. The total area of atolls in other regions is approximately 74.14 square kilometers. There are three locations in the atoll with a water depth of 0.5 to 3 meters, green area in the picture. Covering an area of approximately 5.96 square kilometers, there are four atolls with a depth of about 5 meters, in the blue area shown in the picture, covering an area of 26.93 square kilometers, other shallow blue areas have atolls with a depth of about 10 meters and an area of approximately 41.25 square kilometers. Excluding the steep slope on the outer edge of the atoll, the actual usable area is only 37.25 square kilometers. In order to maximize the land area and minimize the cost, after careful analysis, the island construction plan is proposed as follows. 1. Lagoons with a depth of more than 14 meters are not filled and are used to build typhoon shelters. 2. Reserve an area about 1 kilometer wide on the western atoll at a depth of about 10 meters without filling, as the entrance and exit of the harbor. 3. Reserve an area of 0.5 square kilometers in the western, southern, and northern regions with water depths exceeding 10 meters, respectively. The water areas of 2.5 square kilometers and 3.5 square kilometers are not filled and are used to enclose freshwater lakes. 4. All other atolls with a water depth of about 10 meters, as well as those with a water depth of less than 10 meters, have been filled into land. 5. 5. At low tide. The lowest elevation of land is 3 meters above the sea surface, while the maximum tidal range in the South China Sea is 2 meters. At maximum tide, the land is about 1 meter above the sea surface. According to the proposed island construction plan, a large artificial island with a length of approximately 25.5 kilometers from north to south, a width of approximately 6.9 kilometers from east to west, and a total area of approximately 104 square kilometers can be built on Yongshu Reef. Among them, the land area, green part in the picture, is about 62 square kilometers, the lake area, three light blue parts in the picture, is about 6.5 square kilometers, 
and the harbor area, Blue Park in the roundabout, is about 35.5 square kilometers. The harbor area includes approximately 1.64 square kilometers of entrance and exit area. The harbor is protected around the island, and the entrance and exit are located on the back of the typhoon's direction, which can prevent typhoon waves from directly hitting the harbor, keeping the sea surface inside the harbor relatively stable and becoming an excellent typhoon shelter. The harbor and entrances are both dredged to a depth of less than 14.6 meters. The water depth of June 14, 40 meters facilitates the movement of various ships, including aircraft carriers, and is a good port for building super-large naval bases. 2. Cost of Yongshu Reef Artificial Island in addition to building cofferdams that require caissons, the main materials for island reclamation are earth and stone, which are mostly from mainland China. Referring to the bulk freight rate, the sea freight cost of transporting earthwork from mainland China to Yongshu Reef is about 75 yuan per cubic meter, and other various costs are about 41 yuan per cubic meter. The final unit cost of earthwork for reclamation is 116 yuan per cubic meter. According to the Determined Island Construction Plan, the area of the atoll that can be enclosed on land is about 62.5 square kilometers, calculated in three parts, the part with a water depth of about 1 meter is about 5.96 square kilometers, and the water depth is calculated based on 1 meter, the part with a water depth of about 5 meters is approximately 26.93 square kilometers, and the water depth is calculated as 5 meters, the part with a water depth of about 10 meters is approximately 29.11 square kilometers, and the water depth is calculated as 10 meters. Filling out land that is 3M above the average water surface requires earthwork. The total price of 611.75 million cubic meters of earthwork is 70.963 billion yuan. The perimeter of the inner and outer edges of the reef is 85 kilometers. The cofferdam is stacked in two layers of concrete caissons. The middle gap of 0.1M is filled with concrete mortar. The caissons are made of reinforced concrete. The thickness of caisson is 0.75 m, and the total thickness of two layers of caisson plus 0.1 m thick concrete mortar is 1.6 m. The cofferdam is built at a depth of about 10 meters, with an average height of 13 meters. Building a 13 m high, 1.6 m thick, and 85 kilometers long cofferdam requires reinforced concrete. 85,000 times 13 times 1.6 is equal to 176,800 cubic meters. In mainland China, the cost of reinforced concrete is about 500 yuan per cubic meter, meter, and underwater construction is difficult and costly. Taking a difficulty coefficient of 3, the cost is 1,500 yuan per cubic meter, and the total price of the cofferdam is 176,800 asterisk 1500 equals 265200000 yuan equals 265200000 yuan equals 2.652 billion yuan. Total project cost. 70,963 plus 2,652 is equal to 73.6 billion yuan. Building an artificial island with a land area of approximately 62 square kilometers, a lake area of approximately 6.5 square kilometers, a harbor area of approximately 35.5 square kilometers, and a total area of approximately 104 square kilometers requires approximately 73.6 billion renminbi. This is only the cost of reclamation and island construction, and various facilities on the island still require special funds. 3. The Strategic Significance of Yongshu Reef Artificial Island 73.6 billion yuan, which is the cost of an aircraft carrier. Tianjin Port Group, with the power of a single enterprise, can invest 60 billion yuan to build an artificial island with a total area of approximately 160 square kilometers. Investing hundreds of billions to build an artificial island in Nansha is not much for the Chinese government. But after, after all, this is a huge investment and a huge project. During the construction of the island, there will still be conflicts with surrounding countries. Is it necessary to work hard and mobilize people? It still needs to be explained. First of all, the sea area of the Nancha Islands is 820,000 square kilometers, consisting of more than 230 islands, reefs, islands, sands and beaches. About one-fifth of them are exposed to the sea, including 11 islands, 5 sandbanks, and 20 reefs. Located between the two major naval bases in Vietnam's Long Bay and the Philippines' Subic Bay, it serves as a hub for maritime transportation from the Pacific to the Indian Ocean, and is an important international waterway that East Asia must pass through to South Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. It is also an important channel for China's opening up to the outside world and a crucial barrier for the security of southern Xinjiang. 
39 routes to foreign countries in China percent of foreign trade transportation passes through the Nancha Islands. It can be seen that the strategic position of the, the Nancha Islands is very important. Secondly, the Nancha Islands has a tropical marine monsoon climate, with a monthly average temperature of 25 to 29 degrees Celsius, abundant rainfall, lush shrubs, seabirds, amphibians, and a wide variety of aquatic products. It is the largest tropical fishing ground for marine fisheries in China, with 155 species of floating algae, more than 200 species of zooplankton, and 66 species of shells. The sea area contains a large amount of mineral resources, including various minerals such as oil and natural gas, iron, copper, manganese, phosphorus, etc. Among them, oil and gas resources are particularly abundant, with geological reserves of about 35 billion tons, known as the Second Persian Gulf, mainly distributed in more than 10 basins such as the Zingmu Sands, Wanangxi, and Beiliten, with a total area of about 400, 410,000 square kilometers. The Zingmu Sands Basin alone has oil and gas reserves of about 12.6 to 13.7 billion tons. The strategic significance of such abundant resources is naturally not generally important for China, which is energy deficient. The Dinantia Islands play an important role in both resource distribution and maritime transportation, and are of great strategic significance. It is difficult to develop and utilize the resources of the South China Sea without large islands as bases. Not only is the development cost high, but it is also very unsafe. Therefore, it is necessary to build a large artificial island, a large naval base, and a city as a large-scale platform for developing and utilizing resources in the South China Sea. In addition, as an inherent territory and territorial sea of our country, it has long been occupied by neighboring small countries, which is truly a shame to our great country. To recover the Nancha Islands and manage it well, we also need a large naval base and a city as a foothold. Throughout the Nancha Islands and reefs, even the largest Taiping Island has an area of only 0.44 square kilometers. The area is too small to be easily attacked, and it is not possible to build a large-scale military base or implement large-scale strategic material reserves. Our army's defense of Nancha is a laborious expedition, with numerous difficulties and no supplies. Not only is the cost high, but the lives of officers and soldiers are also very difficult. To change this unfavorable situation, it is necessary to build an island by filling the sea in Nancha. The larger islands and reefs of the Nancha Islands are basically under the control of Vietnam and the Philippines. There are only 11 islands and reefs under actual control in China, of which two are in the hands of Taiwan. Among the islands and reefs actually controlled by the mainland, the only ones with a reef area exceeding 10 square kilometers are Yongshu Reef, Meiji Reef, and Jubi Reef. The Jubi Reef Reef is too small, with an area of only 15 square kilometers. Meiji Reef is large enough, with a reef area of 46 square kilometers, but it is too slanted, located at the northeast end of the Dinancha Islands, too close to the Philippines, and too far from the Malacca Strait. Being the first artificial island is not very ideal. Yongshu Reef, a coral atoll in the middle of the Dinancha Islands, is located at 9 degrees 37 north latitude and 112 degrees 58 east longitude, about 1,300 kilometers away from the Chinese mainland, about 1,400 kilometers away from the Malacca Strait, and about 1,000 kilometers away from Yulin Port, Hainan Island. It is approximately 500 kilometers away from Jinlan Bay, 550 kilometers away from Malaysia, and 550 kilometers away from the Philippines. It is located midway between Taiping Island and Nanwe Island, at the intersection of the South China Sea Central Route, Hong Kong-Singapore, and the South China Waterway, and has natural geographical advantages. Therefore, building an island on Yongshu Reef has significant strategic significance. The construction of Yongshu Island is strategic, and building a city is not only for the military needs of ensuring naval logistics supply, but also for the living needs of the island's officers and soldiers, it is also the political and economic development needs of the entire South China Sea. The value of Yongshu Island needs to be evaluated from a strategic perspective. Its strategic value is the value of the entire South China Sea, or more precisely, ensuring the value of China's interests in Southeast Asia and the Middle East. It cannot be measured in money, and 73.6 billion renminbi is worth investing. 4. For overall deployment of Yongshu Island Yongshu Island, as the largest military base in the southern waters of China, covers the entire Southeast Asia, especially the Strait of Malacca. It is also the closest base to the Indian Ocean, with the aircraft carrier heading south to the Indian Ocean, making it the most convenient to depart. Therefore, it is necessary to deploy an aircraft carrier combat group base here. 
including other surface combat units and Marine Corps bases, Yongshu Island military port should at least reach the scale of Qingdao Naval Base. The Qingdao Naval Base covers an area of about 10.7 square kilometers, and Yongshu Island military port should also reach about 10 square kilometers. The naval aviation coverage of Yongshu Island covers the entire Southeast Asia, and its scale can refer to Japan's Mizawa Air Force Base, and the land area should not be less than 10 square kilometers. Therefore, the scale of the Yongshu Island Naval Base should exceed 20 square kilometers. Taking the entrance and exit of the harbor as the boundary, the southern half of the island, in red area below, covers an area of approximately 25.30 square kilometers and serves as a military base. The northern half of the island, green and gray areas, covers an area of approximately 43.20 square kilometers. As urban and agricultural land, Within the military base, there is a lake with an area of approximately 2.5 square kilometers, light blue area in the southern part of the picture. It can st store about 25 million cubic meters of fresh water, with an actual land area of about 22.8 square kilometers. The length along the harbor is nearly 10 kilometers, and the water depth exceeds 14.6 meters, which is enough to build a large naval base. Within the urban and rural land, there are two lakes. The northern lake covers an area of approximately 3.5 square kilometers, light blue area in the northern part of the picture, and the western lake covers an area of approximately 0.5 square kilometers, light blue area in the central and western part of the picture. The total area of the lake is approximately 4.0 square kilometers, and it can store approximately 40 million cubic meters of fresh water. The actual land area is approximately 39.2 square kilometers. Among them, the shallow reef on the north bank of the harbor, gray area in the picture, covers an area of about 4 square kilometers, with a filling depth of less than 3 meters, and has good basic conditions. It is used as urban construction land, the other part, green area in the picture, is approximately 35.2 square kilometers, used as agricultural land for growing food, vegetables, fruits, etc., to ensure the supply of living materials on the island. The effective area of the grain field is 30 square kilometers, and the rice yield per mu is calculated at 450 kilograms, which can produce about 20,000 tons of rice annually. The per capita annual consumption of food is 250 kilograms, which can meet the living needs of over 80,000 people. The Danansha Islands are rich in fishery resources. Seafood accounts for a large proportion of the food consumption of the island residents. Other food products except rice are supplied by the mainland. There is not so much food to be supplied by the island. Grain is a commodity that is easy to transport and store. The yield of grain on this island is not important, as long as it meets the supply of fresh water, vegetables, and other daily necessities. At the south end of Yongshu Reef is a reef about 4.3 kilometers long and 1.2 kilometers wide. The water depth is about 0.5 m. The amount of reclamation work is very small. It is easy to fill a land area of about 4.8 square kilometers, about 10 times that of Taiping Island. It is suitable for building runway, and is a good choice for Air Force bases. In the early stage, the land will be built with less investment, and two aviation stations will be built. Each station will build a 3800M long runway, and the Air Force base will be built in advance. Subsequently, naval bases, cities, and farms were gradually built. The large-scale naval base on Yongshu Island is not only responsible for protecting the surrounding countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, India, and many islands and reefs belonging to the Danancha Islands, but also responsible for monitoring the Malacca Strait, involving China's interests in the whole Southeast Asia. Therefore, the base needs to deploy powerful air combat forces to cover the Danancha Islands and its south. A range of 1,500 kilometers. We need to deploy strong surface combat forces to respond to maritime invasions from neighboring countries. In order to recover the Nancha Islands, it is necessary to deploy a large number of Marines and armed police forces. Based on China's interests in the Indian Ocean and the comparison of the naval capability capabilities of neighboring countries, the Yongshu Island Naval Base can deploy an aircraft carrier combat group, an aviation division, a 052C anti-aircraft missile destroyer, a frigate battalion, six frigates, a Marine Corps brigade, a naval coastal defense battalion, and several nuclear-powered submarines, covering the Strait of Malacca. The establishment of prefecture-level city is very necessary. In order to reflect the control over the Nancha Islands, it is suggested to name the city Nancha City. With Nancha City, a maritime supervision detachment can be configured and a regimental-level maritime armed police detachment, approximately 1,000 people, can be deployed. 
The Marine Surveillance Detachment and the Armed Police Detachment are responsible for the daily patrol of the Venantia Islands and its affiliated waters. Before recovering the Venantia Islands, cooperate in recovering the islands and reefs occupied by Vietnam. The Maritime Surveillance Forces set sail with retired destroyers, and the Armed Police Forces cooperated with each other in large units. Vietnam's garrison on the island is no match for it. If they don't shoot and stop, drive them off the island, if they shoot and obstruct, it is exactly the situation we need. We will use this as an opportunity to fight a naval battle with Vietnam, completely eliminate their military presence in the South China Sea, and recover the islands and reefs that have been occupied by Vietnam for a long time. No matter what happens, it is imperative to recover the Venantia Islands. With a strong naval base as the backing, there is no problem to recover and stick to the Venantia Islands, and the sovereignty dispute in the South China Sea will become history. There are approximately 5,000 people in an aircraft carrier combat group, 5,000 people in an aviation division, 5,000 people in a marine brigade, 400 people in a 052C anti-aircraft missile destroyer, 1,000 people in a frigate battalion, 300 people in a coastal defense battalion, and 1,000 people in an ar armed police detachment. The total number of troops stationed by various branches on Yongshu Island is approximately 18,000. There are approximately 20,000 permanent residents in the city, with a floating population of approximately 4,000 calculated at 20% of the total resident population. The total population of Yongshu Island is approximately 42,000. With the Yongshu Island Naval Military Base, aircraft carriers are not needed to guard the South China Sea. The deployment of aircraft carriers is aimed at the Indian Ocean. 5. Island Construction Period The Tianjin Reclamation Project involves over 30,000 construction personnel and over 300 ships every day, completing 600,000 cubic meters of earthwork every day. Considering that the construction conditions of Yongshu Reef are far from comparable to Tianjin, and the efficiency is calculated at 80%, 500,000 cubic meters of earthwork are completed every day, 61.75 million cubic meters of earthwork are built on Yongshu Reef, and the reclamation project takes approximately 1,224 days. Working 330 days per year, the reclamation project can be completed in less than four years. Yongshu Island is divided into three regions based on its functions, see figure below. The southern half of the island, in red, is a naval base, and the northern shore of the harbor, in gray, is more basic than. The better part is used for urban construction, while the other parts, green areas, serve as vegetable bases and farmland. Divide the project into two parts, north and south. The first phase of the project has completed a land area of 4.3 kilometers long and 1.2 kilometers wide at the southern end of Yongshu Reef, with an area of approximately 4.8 square kilometers protruding from the southern end of the red area, and approximately 0.9 square kilometers of land on the northern shore of the lagoon. The first phase of the project covers a total of approximately 5.7 square kilometers of land and completed 17 million cubic meters of earthwork, with a construction period of approximately 34 days. Given the poor conditions of the first phase of the project, a reclamation period of 180 days has been arranged. The first, the first phase of the project can use large passenger ships and barges as temporary residential and construction sites. At the same time as reclamation, large-scale temporary projects will be constructed on the already built land. Prepare for the second phase of the project. In order not to affect the airport construction, a large temporary project is built on the land filled in phase one on the north bank of the lagoon. With the 5.7 square kilometers of land covered by the first phase of the project, the subsequent projects will have support. The first phase of the project has an earthwork volume of 2.45 billion yuan, a cofferdam and flood control embankment volume of 250 million yuan, and a total investment of approximately 2.7 billion yuan. The second phase of the project has completed the west bank of the lagoon and the remaining red part, covering an area of approximately 33.62 square kilometers. Excluding 3.0 square kilometers of lakes, the second phase of the project covers a total of approximately 30.62 square kilometers of land, completing 327.12 million cubic meters of earthwork, and a construction period of 654 days, approximately two years. The total cost of the second phase project is approximately 39.2 billion yuan. The third phase of the project has completed the remaining land area of approximately 29.18 square kilometers, deducting the lake area of 3.5 square kilometers. The actual reclamation area is about 25.68 square kilometers, and 267.63 million cubic meters of earthwork have been completed. The project duration is 536 days, which takes about one year and half a year. The total cost of the third phase project is approximately 31.7 billion yuan. 
The completion of the Umshu Reef Reclamation Project will take about four years, with approximately 611.75 million cubic meters of earthwork completed. The Umshu Island Naval Aviation Station was completed and put into use at the same time. 6. 6. Schedule of Ground Facilities After the completion of the first phase of the reclamation project, the construction of ground facilities, military ports, and underground engineering can be fully carried out, with the project divided into two major parts, naval bases and cities. 1. Naval Base Construction The first phase of the project completed two aviation depots, a destroyer base, a Marine Corps base, and a naval coastal defense base. The construction period of two naval aviation stations is three years, the destroyer base is four to five years, the Marine Corps base is three years, and the coastal defense base is three years, with a total construction period of about five years. After the completion of the first phase of the project, a naval aviation division, a 052C anti-aircraft missile destroyer, a frigate battalion, a Marine Corps brigade, and a naval coastal defense battalion will be stationed at the base. The second phase of the project includes the completion of a home port for an aircraft carrier and a nuclear-powered submarine port, as well as the improvement of supporting facilities for the military base. The construction period is four years. After the completion of both phases of the project, one aviation division, one 052C anti-aircraft missile destroyer, one frigate battalion, one Marine Corps brigade, and one naval coastal defense battalion will be stationed at the base, can deploy an aircraft carrier combat group and several nuclear-powered submarines. 2. 2. Urban Construction After the completion of the first phase of the island construction project, the civil construction project began. The first phase of the project has a construction period of five years. Complete some administrative facilities, some logistics facilities, and some commercial and service facilities in the city, including a vegetable base and a civilian terminal capable of berthing 10,000-ton cargo ships, complete the flood control levees on the eastern and southern coasts of Yungshu Island, complete the roundabout road, complete a river with a total drainage area of 1.0 square kilometers and two freshwater lakes with a total area of 6 square kilometers on the island. After the completion of the first phase of the project, the total freshwater reserves will be 60 million cubic meters, the city has a roundabout road, form a flood control embankment on the east bank of the roundabout, which can withstand the 10-meter wave caused by a super typhoon, all rivers of various specifications on the island have been completed and put into use, with a flood control level of once every 200 years, mobilize one armed police detachment and one maritime supervision. Detachment, administrative, health, and other institutions begin to operate, some commercial and service facilities have started operating, the dock is put into use, and the vegetable base is put into production. The city achieves its most basic func functions and can meet the needs of the garrison and the city supplies. Except for fresh water and vegetables supplied by the island, all other supplies come from the mainland. The second phase of the project has been completed to 70% of the urban construction, and the basic construction of farms, farmland, and fishing villages has been completed to 100%. The project duration is about five years. After the completion of the second phase of the project, the city will have normal functions, and the living materials for the station troops and urban residents will be basically supplied by the island. Water is the source of life, and with fresh water, spiritual energy can be generated anywhere. After the completion of the reclamation project, the seawater is blocked outside the cofferdam, and the groundwater on the island is isolated from the sea. After the construction of the flood control embankment, the waves caused by the typhoon were also blocked outside the embankment, and there would be no more seawater intrusion on the island. The rainwater on the island seeps into the ground and mixes with the seawater that enters the island through the reclamation circle. Then, it slowly seeps from the ground and collects into the lake for discharge, causing the salinity of the groundwater to continuously decrease. Many years later, the groundwater will become a freshwater resource, but this time is very long, and for the freshwater demand on the island, it cannot be hydrolyzed far enough to reach near thirst. The lake collects surface rainwater all year round, diluting and replacing the seawater enclosed in the lake during the island construction. In a few years, the lakes on the island will become freshwater lakes, giving birth to the island's freshwater resources. The three lakes cover an area of approximately 6.5 square kilometers and are all enclosed in water with a depth of 10 meters. The designed lake surface is 2 meters higher than the sea surface, with an average depth of about 11 meters. The two lakes can store 65 million cubic meters of fresh water. The average annual rainfall of the Nancha Islands is about 2,800 millimeters, with a catchment area of 68.50 square kilometers. The annual rainwater collection is about 191.8 million cubic meters, three times the water storage capacity of the lake. 
Within two years, the salt content of the lake water will be diluted to less than 0.5% of the seawater, and the island lake will become a freshwater lake. That is to say, on the completion of the reclamation project, the lake with an area of approximately 2.5 square kilometers inside the naval base and approximately 0.5 square kilometers on the west bank of the harbor will become a freshwater lake. If the country decides to start building the island this year, Yongshu Island will have a prefecture-level city and a large naval base in six years. It has three large freshwater lakes with a total freshwater reserve of approximately 65 million cubic meters. The living materials on the island are basically supplied by the island. The Venancha Islands have become our home and are no longer far away from us. In many years, groundwater will also become a freshwater resource, and there will be abundant freshwater resources below 62 square kilometers of land. With the economic development of the Venancha Islands, the urban construction will continue to improve, and Yongshu Island may eventually become a city with a permanent population of more than 100,000 in highly developed trade, tourism, services, fisheries, and related industries. The Venancha Islands, with rich resources, developed transportation, and outstanding people, is a veritable maritime paradise.